We're back now with a sign of the times. A civil rights group thinks relationships between police and the community have gotten so bad, they're now encouraging citizens to record police, like a case we recently covered in Virginia Beach. There is a new app that will soon launch in Virginia, but many ask, is this a good idea? Penny, your science Brandy Cummings is here with her special report. Brandy? Well, Tom, Anita, the app is called Mobile Justice. The ACLU created it to further its mission to make sure citizens' rights aren't violated. But an attorney I spoke to says he has some major concerns. Oh, yes. One Are y'all hitting up? After the other. <laughs> Cell phone video showing police interactions with citizens <laughs> has led to outrage. Too many police departments in Virginia right now have cultures of secrecy. The ACLU now wants people to download and use its new app, Mobile Justice. Once activated, video is captured, saved, then sent directly to the ACLU. So automatically, you can record your interaction with the police, whether the policeman wants you to or whether they even know you're doing it. Virginia law says anyone can record an interaction or conversation they're involved in. Bystanders can too, as long as they don't interfere with police doing their jobs, as with this simulation. But an attorney says just because you can doesn't mean you should. Officers are also very concerned about having uh, their, their movements monitored uh, in a way that uh, affects public safety. It's not anything new, um, but it is a way systemically to be sh to be sure mm -hmm. that um, there's an organization like the ACLU that's looking at these kinds of things and asking the right questions. Tin on your side found a law enforcement report that says the behavior of both police and citizens was better when police body cameras are worn. The ACLU is hoping its new app will help prevent the violence we've seen in the past, but not so fast. The app has a witness feature that tells others where police scenes are happening. Attorney Mike Improvento says that can make already tense situations even more volatile. People don't realize that an officer, they don't know you. They don't know what your motives are. They don't know what's in your mind. And then you're coming up on a tense scene and then you're videoing. It is a potential for problem. Improvento also says the app can't show the whole picture. It won't record what the officer allegedly smelled in the vehicle. It won't record some of the nuances of the individual's hands that you can't see on the video. The ACLU says that's why the report feature is important. Anyone uploading a video is asked to give details of the incident. With the report and the video, the ACLU will decide if it'll investigate. We're going to be looking to see whether there are you know, patterns in the videos we get. I mean, if one entity is looking across the state at a lot of different information, we'll know something that an individual department might not know. Even with mobile justice, Improvento advises. If you believe that they don't have the right to take you into custody or that you have a defense, litigate it in court. Don't litigate it on the street. The mobile justice app is already available in several other states, including North Carolina. It launches in Virginia next Friday. We want to know what you think about our story and mobile justice. Go to the Wavy TV Facebook page right now and join the conversation already happening there. I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.